Hey guys, it's Chloe. So today I'm going to be talking about something important to me. I'm going to be talking about my eye. I've been hearing a lot of things and reading a lot of things and I'm here to sort of just clear the air and tell you what's really going on. A lot of people have been saying things that they think is happening, but I'm going to tell you what's actually happening. About a year and a half ago, I started noticing that this eye was smaller than this eye. My mom noticed it, I noticed it, so we decided to make a doctor's appointment. I wasn't sure if it was a droopy eye or what it was, but we just wanted to check it out. And that was around the time people started saying I had alesia. So I went to the doctor expecting for them to say, oh, no big deal, you just need some eye drops, it'll go away soon, it'll go back to normal. But the doctor took one look at me and he was concerned that there was a bigger issue, something that we couldn't see, and he referred me to a specialist. So I went to the specialist and, you know, he, he looked at my eye and he started saying that it could be something bigger, that it, and he started naming all these big scary medical names and all I was thinking is, so this isn't going to be fixed quickly? and he ordered all of these tests. I went through 17 vials of blood in one sitting. I did a CAT scan, I did an MRI, I, I did all these tests and the whole time I was just really scared. I wasn't sure what was happening and it, it all just happened really quickly. And then we had to wait and wait and wait and wait. And you know, I, I was kind of scared because as soon as you have to wait, you start immediately thinking the worst. You start thinking, oh my gosh, this is bad, what's going to happen to me? And we just, we didn't know anything for a while, so that, that was, that was hard. And while we were waiting, people started commenting on my eyes, saying, oh, she has a lazy eye, she's ugly, and people were questioning things and making their own inferences, and even an adult in my life made fun of it, not knowing or caring what was really going on or not even bothering to ask and normally those kinds of comments don't bother me but that one really hit the spot because it's just hard when people are saying things and they don't really know what's going on and then we got a call from the doctor finally <laughs> and it was the best possible thing that it could have been. It was um, silent sinus syndrome. <laughs> Sorry, I need a minute. Okay, so let me explain what silent sinus syndrome is. You have sinuses in your face. And this sinus was full of air like they should be. But this sinus was blocked. It was full of negative pressure. And as I was going through puberty, the negative pressure actually pulled my eye back, causing my eyelid to droop which makes this eye look smaller than this eye. The first thing the doctors had to do was clean this out, so they went in through my nose and they cut a little hole and they cleared all that out and got all that stuff out of there. And then I had to wait a year to see what the results were because they said it could fix my eye, but it could not, so we just had to wait a little longer. So here we are a year later and after meeting with three surgeons, the doctors are deciding to go ahead and fix my eye because they don't want it to get any worse and if it were to get worse I could have problems with vision and it could be a whole lot messier than it has to be so they're going to fix my eye. Just a BT dubs while you guys are watching this, I'm currently in surgery right now so that's a little scary. I'm a little scared. Let me explain how they are doing this surgery. What they are going to do is they are going to cut the inside of my eye, not my eye, because I made sure of that, <laughs> but the inside of my eye right here, and they are going to take a piece of plastic, don't worry, it's like really clean and stuff, <laughs> and they are going to put it underneath my eye to lift my eye up and forward where it matches this eye, and then it'll be fixed. And I won't really have any scars, I don't think maybe just a little scar right here, but nothing major, you will barely be able to see it. People have said really mean things over the past year, and mean things hurt your feelings, obviously. 
So, and what people didn't know is I am a little insecure about my eye. And above all of that, I'm really scared because I don't know what's going to happen. And just having people say those things sort of sucks <laughs> when they don't know the full story. Knowing I would have to go through surgery to fix something before it got way worse weighed so heavy on me. In the comment section below, tell me what you guys are insecure about. And who knows, maybe while I'm recovering, I will respond to some of you guys. Next time you guys see me, I might be rocking an eye patch, but <laughs> don't tell anyone. When I was little, my biggest dream was to be a pirate when I was older, so I'll probably be like living the life. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a dork. <laughs> but wish me luck, guys. I'm really scared. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye.